I wanted to put lights on my tracker boat and I shot a video earlier uh, and I'd said that uh, I'd follow up with a video on uh, the deck lights that I installed. So obviously they're already put on, so uh, I'm not gonna take you through um, the process of doing it, but I kind of wanted to show you my way of putting them on. So first, um, as you can see, uh, I bought uh, the uh, self-adhesive lights, uh, LED lights, these are blue, and I did purchase these from Blue Water. Um, this particular boat, the trackers, most of them have this channel uh, that runs through the boat. And so, uh, you know, just kind of looking at it and trying to decide how I wanted to do it, um, I came up with this plan. So, uh, the lighting, uh, is hooked together uh, from one end to the other, meaning you've got to start at one particular area and run the lights all the way through the boat, connect together, uh, and then run it to your power source. And I'll show you that in a second. But what I did was from the channel part, I ran all the wiring inside this channel. And then I drilled a hole, and I'll show you a picture here in a minute, but I drilled a hole just right where that channel is and I ran the lights, uh, excuse me, I ran the wiring from the strip light into that channel. And I did that all the way around uh, the boat and connected each piece. And once that was done, I went to the automotive store and I picked up a piece of black PVC hose and I think it was a 5 sixteenths PVC, and I pushed it into the channel, and I'll show you a little better shot later. So that's kind of what I did throughout the whole uh, boat uh, once I got everything connected, and it, uh, it took the wires away pretty well. So uh, pretty impressed on how it come out. Um, where I had cut the, where I had drilled the holes, I went to the automotive store and got a can of uh, brush on scratch uh, paint for automotive. And I picked a color that was as close to the boat as possible and filled in where I had done the drilling. Uh, so you can't see that as well. So again, the wires are pretty well uh, tucked away. And then I ran into one piece uh, that took me a while to figure out. And I'm going to show you that uh, on the back of the boat. So here we are on the back of the boat. And with the tracker boats, uh, it has this um, metal block here that's carpeted. Uh, there's screws that hold this down so you can take this off. Uh, so with that being that strip being uh, adhesive, uh, it wasn't going to stick to the carpet. So I started looking around the garage to figure out what I could use for that. And I had recently had some flooring installed. And this channel actually is used to hold trim to the floor uh, where the threshold is. So I started looking at it and I thought, hey, I might be able to use that. So I cut it to length uh, that I needed. And then I sprayed painted it flat black. And then once it dried, I actually screwed that channel to this block. And then I took the uh, blue water strip and it fits right in that channel perfectly. So, and it adheres to it uh, phenomenal. So, so I was pleased with how that worked. And again, just ran the wire through the block uh, and then up to the console uh, to make the connection. And I'll show you what I did there next. So on the tracker boats, as you'll see uh, under the console uh, is your wiring harness, uh, your fuse block, if you will. Um, that's where I got the uh, hot source for the blue water lighting. I did not want to run it to the battery as a hot source. All right, so we got the, uh, the hot source from uh, the fuse block under the console. And then I went ahead and attached uh, the actual on off switch to the accessory toggle that was already on the boat. And then I also wired in 
a dimmer switch right here. So I drilled a hole into the dash. It's tucked away pretty good uh, and put a dimmer switch here. So I know it's not dark outside enough to really show you the full effect, but all you have to do uh, at night when you're fishing is just flip up the accessory and then just turn on. It is a click switch and then you'll see it's a dimmer and I can bring the lights up to full power. And then if that's too much, I can bring the lights down, uh, depending on um, how it looks on the boat at night when you're there. So, and then simply just turn that back off and then kill the power to the, to the uh, blue water lights. And that is pretty much it. Um, it, took, uh, it took a few evenings to install this, but overall, uh, I feel pretty good about how it come out. And uh, once it gets a little bit darker, uh, I'll uh, add to this video and show you uh, how it really lights up the deck of this tracker. Okay, so here's uh, how it looks at night with the lights on. And, and uh, I'll show you around the boat and uh, let you see how it looks. And if you'll notice, there's also a light under the console. That's a single black water light that I wired into the lighting um, when I set up the other lighting also.